Okay, everybody, welcome. Metamorphic Rocks. Uh, this is Mr. Gazda, and uh, let's get into metamorphic rocks. A metamorphic rock is formed when you have an existing rock, and that existing rock is buried under other rocks. And we are often talking about a mile of rock, two miles, three miles, four miles, um, a lot of rock. That, obviously, if you think about four miles of rock, is a lot of weight, it costs lots of pressure. And then that pressure also causes heat. And that will form a metamorphic rock. This pressure and heat will um, do two things. It will often um, times partially melt that existing rock. And also, that will be conditions where there are chemical reactions and chemical changes that some minerals will actually change into other minerals. So, um, one of the things you see, if this is a rock and this is the pressure of three miles of rock above it, um, obviously that's a lot of pressure. What you get is it will really squish this rock and you can tend to get um, layers that will go perpendicular to the pressure. And you can often see those layers in a rock and uh, those are called foliation and sometimes banding. Let's let's look at some rocks here. Um, let's look at some metamorphic rocks. Okay, let's uh, start with an extreme example and that would be a rock um, such as this. Focus, focus. Can you see the layers in here? That's my question. Can you see the layers? The dark layers that run through here, or the white, so mixed in, so the layers kind of run this way. And maybe we, oh, we can see it on, on this side, too. You see those dark layers? Like here and here and here, mixed in with the white. And we saw that side already. This side, you see the layers again. And this is the igneous rock. I mean, I'm sorry, the metamorphic rock, the metamorphic rock, nice, G-N-E-I-S-S, -S. nice. Um, here is another one, and I don't know how well you can see the different layers. Can you see the different layers in here? Maybe you can't so well, maybe, maybe they're not that visible in this one. How about, how about this one? Can you see layers that kind of run this way, of the dark and the white? Or maybe even this one. These are a little hard, hard to tell. These are nice. This, these layers here. And I got this one wet. This one you could probably see. You see the dark layers that run through here, 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 here. Um, this is from extreme metamorphism. Really high heat. Um, really uh, high amounts of pressure. And it basically, this these this rock is partially melted. Maybe think like uh, like toothpaste or thick toothpaste. Not totally melted, then it becomes then it becomes magma again, and it become an igneous rock, partially melted, and uh, all the pressure pushes this way, and the minerals kind of move and migrate in this partially liquid material, and they kind of um, come together with with similar minerals. All the black minerals come together here, and the lighter ones here, and that's how you get this banding. This is extreme or or really high grade metamorphism. Okay, and that is uh, banding. And what you're going to see on your, on your um, earth science reference table in this case is, if you can look, that's nice right here, G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, uh, high-grade metamorphism, okay, and it has banding, and that's what we saw with the different colors, the different colors is banding. Now let's look at some of these other ones where uh, they are these layers from the pressure, things like schist, phyllite, and slate, and as I go from here to here, I get that it's buried deeper, more pressure, and more heat, so... Some at the top here is kind of a little bit metamorphosed. This is a little more, this is more, and nice is the most um, high, most pressure and uh, the hottest temperatures. So let's look at slate, phyllite, and schist. I have some of that here. Slate. Um, here are two pieces of slate. Let's get some good focusing on there. Okay, see the focus? Focus is on there. Um, and if you get the light right, you can see it's kind of dull, but maybe a little bit of a silver shine, but maybe just a little bit. You also see it breaks really thin. Maybe this one. This one right here. Can you see those layers in there? It's like thin layers. Or, I'm right, I can't really, you can't really see it here. Or maybe right here. How that kind of thin layers that, that go this way. That's called, uh, foliation. And can you see it here? I'm not sure if you can see it. It doesn't really come through great on the video. The camera's having trouble focusing. But 
that's slate. That's like low-grade metamorphism. N not buried that deep, not that high temperature, but we start having some chemical reactions occurring here, taking the existing rock, like that was uh, shale or siltstone, and you start seeing some chemical reactions, in, which is changing some of the minerals into mica. Okay, and you may be familiar with the mica minerals, that they're the thin, flaky ones that kind of look very, a little bit silvery. They're really thin and flaky, inflexible sheets. And uh, part of the reactions that occur is minerals turn into the mica. So as you get buried deeper and it's under higher temperatures for longer periods, you now have more mica. And it's often visible by being a bit more silvery and shiny. So this is my phyllite. And I don't know how well you can see this. Oh, you see it there. See it's kind of more silvery? See, it's kind of silvery there, okay? And those are microscopic mica crystals that make it that silvery sheen to it. And that's a very common characteristic of phyllite. Okay, well, you don't see in these pieces so... Oh, you kind of see it here, or I hope you can, is that you have layers that go this way. So you really can see the layers oftentimes, and this is having trouble focusing. Okay, you see those thin layers? And that is our foliation, it's called, from all the... Wait, ooh, can, can, can you see that? Come on, focus. Uh, just having a lot of trouble focusing on it. Maybe right there. You see those thin layers? Yeah, that's really good foliation because all the pressure, it's foliation this way, this way, and the pressure was must have been this way. Um, oh, I maybe can I, ooh, I can see some here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you see that really good right there. See these layers right here? How the thin layers that, that, that go this way? really good foliation. Hope you can see that okay. Good foliation. Um, so what you have from the slate to this, and you can see it in this picture, oh yeah, look at how much uh, this is more dull, and then you have much more mica crystals here. And then if, if this is under even um, more pressure and more heat for a longer time period, you have more of those mica crystals form, and what you get is a metamorphic rock known as um, schist. I'm not sure how well this is coming through. I like, look at this piece right here. If I go like this in the light, can you see all that, so, uh, all of those things are literally, you can see almost individual mica crystals reflecting that light, like very silvery. That is all these mica crystals that are all lined up flat like this, flat like this because the pressure was pushing down on them. So they're all oriented in the same way. They're flat. And the top parts are reflecting back at me. Now, those crystals are pretty big. You can see them with your naked eye. Uh, I don't know if you can see the foliation on the side. I don't think you can. I can see it from what I have, but the video may not come out very good. But there's foliation this way. Okay. Um, this is probably the crystals aren't as large, but, it's, but you can see that maybe this is just silver. You can start seeing some minerals here. Maybe. Let, let me have another piece. And you can see this one, too. Yeah, this one too. You can really see all those little flashes on microcrystals. Yeah, that's good. Let me see. The foliation is hard to see. It's definitely there. And it runs this way. I just don't think if you can see it. Focus, focus. It's not really focusing. Well, you can't see the foliation so great. But what you're having here 